and uh, welcome to this lecture. Uh, we, we saw the definition of a random variable, a discrete random variable. We saw how in various situations uh, the most crucial thing is uh, finding the range and PMF of the random variable and then you can work with it. And we saw several different distributions, commonly occurring distributions and how to work with them. Uh, in this uh, short lecture, we are going to look at functions of one discrete random variable. You have a discrete random variable, right, and then I look at a function of it. Now, how do you deal with that scenario? What is that object? Function of a discrete random variable, uh, what kind of an object is it and how do you deal with it? That is the objective of this lecture. It is a relatively short lecture. Let us get into it. So, functions of a random variable. So, we have a random variable x which we know now quite reasonably. It has a certain range, it has a certain PMF and that is all I care about, right. So, once I know that, I, I understand the random variable quite well. So, we know that uh, the random variable itself is a function. It is a function from the sample space of the probability space we are dealing with to its range t. Okay? And when we are going to take the range as a subset of the real line. Okay? All of this uh, we are going to do. Uh, Let us say f is some function from the real line to the real line. Some other function. It could be any function you want to, you know, x squared, e power x, log x, whatever function you want to think of, uh, you, you can have f as that function. Can we think of f of capital X. What is f of capital X? Okay. So, now random variable takes values on the real line. Of course, I can hit f uh, on those values. I will get something, right. But what kind of an object is it? Random variable itself takes values with some probability. So, if you look at f of random variable, again, it is very natural that it is another random variable. Okay. And it is a random variable in that same probability space. You, you can simply see f of x as a composition of two functions, right? x is a function from sample space to t, uh, x is a function, I am sorry, x is a function from sample space to t, f is a function from t to something else. So, this f of x will simply be a function from sample space to some other range, okay? And so, so f of x is also a random variable, okay? So, I guess it is not very surprising. I, I wrote down a small little argument here, but if you have x as a random variable, if you have f as a function, f of x is another random variable. So, it is reasonable to uh, think of uh, this, this way, okay? So, let us see a couple of examples. The best way to understand what to do with functions of a random variable is to look at a few examples and then talk about uh, the general thing, okay? So, I am going to take a couple of examples and okay. All right, so here is a situation where x is a uniform random variable in a set. You know this, right? So, what is uh, uh, the PMF? Uh, so, the range of x is uh, this guy. This guy is the range. And uh, what is the PMF? The PMF, if you want to write fx of minus 2 and all of these guys. Uh, or maybe I should write it in a table. You know, a table is better. Uh, so, let us look at x and then t and then fx of t, okay. So, t is minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Table is always very, very useful here and this is going to be 1 by 5, right. So, 1 by 5, 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 okay. So, this is the uh, random variable, okay. Now, the function f I am looking at is f of x equals x squared and I want to find the range and PMF of f of x, which is the new uh, random variable. So, my f of x is, uh, is just x squared. So, maybe it is interesting to look at t squared, right? So, t squared is 4, 1, 0, 1, 4, okay? It will be such a long line, okay? So, that is what is t squared. Now, so notice, uh, so when I say f x of t is 1 by 5, I mean probability that x equals uh, minus 2 is 1 by 5 and so on, right? So, that is what that is what this means, okay? So, now what is uh, what is the meaning of this f of x now? When I do f of the random variable x, okay? The random variable x takes values in the range minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. Now, if I hit f with this function, what will I get? If, if I act with this f here, okay? I am going to get these values, is not it? t squared, right? So, 4, 1 and 0. Okay. So, we quickly see that if x belongs to minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, f of x, which is x squared, will belong to 4, 1, 0. 
okay. So, it is not typical to write like this, it is typical to write it in increasing order. So, 0, 1, 4, okay. So, it is easy to see that, right. So, x took a discrete set of values, x squared will take 0, 1 and 4 as its value. So, you take any of these values and square them, you will only get 0, 1, 4, okay. So, now what about, uh, so this settles the range of x. So, so, you see range for a function of a random variable is very trivial. You simply take the range of x and then act on it with f and see what set you get. That is your uh, range of f of x, okay. So, it is quite trivial. So, now PMF of f of x equals x squared, okay. So, what is PMF now? I know x squared takes value 0, 1, 4, right. Now, for PMF, all I have to do is find probability that f of x equals 0, isn't it, okay. So, what is uh, the event f of x equals 0 is an event and that event is actually equal to x also being equal to 0, isn't it. So, when will f of x be 0? We see from the table that f of x is 0 only when x is 0. So, that is the event of x equals 0. So, this is the probability, the same as probability that x equals 0 is 1 by 5. It is very easy to see. Now, what about probability that f of x equals 1? This is the event that x belongs to 1 or minus 1, isn't it, okay. So, you see here if x is minus 1 also you get uh, x squared is 1, if x is 1 also you get x squared is 1. So, f of x equals 1, the event, uh, this event and this event are identical, okay. So, that is the crucial factor here. Uh, the event f of x equals something can be written as x belonging to something, okay. So, that is the crucial, crucial part here. So, if you say, if you look at a function f of x and say I want to look at the event defined by f of x, I can in turn define it with x because f of x is after all a function of x, okay. So, this is x belonging to 1 and minus 1 and that is 2 by 5. So, in a very similar way, you can show probability that f of x equals 4 is also 2 by 5, okay. So, what is the PMF of f of x, right. So, PMF of f of x, uh, f of x, uh, if you think of uh, a, and f, f of x of a. So, in this case f of x is x squared. So, this is 0, 1, 4, 1 by 5, 2 by 5, 2 by 5, okay. So, or you know you can even write it as f x squared of a, okay. So, these are various ways to write it, okay. So, once again the crucial aspect is the event that f of x takes a particular value can be written in terms of x taking a particular a particular value or a set of values. So, you saw here uh, x squared became 0 means x is only 0, that is the only possibility. But if x squared is 1, you could have x being 1 or minus 1. So, that is the only thing you have to pay attention to. You have to pay attention to this detail of uh, when you find the inverse uh, values, right. So, given f of x when you want to find values of x, you may get multiple possibilities. So, you have to account for that uh, carefully. f of f may not be a 1 to 1 function and then you have to pay attention to detail, okay. So, that is the simple way to do it. So, I, I did not I didn't do any great theory for it, I just wrote down the problem and show you, showed you how to do it. Uh, hopefully, this was uh, clear. Let us see one more example, maybe a slightly more complicated random variable. We will take a geometric random variable with parameter 0.5. So, you remember the geometric random variable, right. So, f x of k, k equals 1, 2, so on is uh, 1 minus p, which is half in this case, okay, this is p, right, 1 minus p per k minus 1 times p, okay. In this case, it is just half, half, so you see it is just 1 by 2 per k, okay, very easy formula uh, for uh, ra geometric random variable. Now, what is my function f? It is an interesting little function. So, if you were to sketch it, uh, f of x versus x x goes, uh, let us say, I mean it goes throughout 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way till 5. It says it is equal to x, f of x is equal to x. What is x? Uh, y equals x is just this uh, y equals x line, okay. This is 5 and this is 5, right. This is 2 and this is 2, like that. And then it is x up to 5 and then after 5 what happens? It stays at 5. 
right. This function does not keep continuing to increase, uh, it is sort of like a, you know, it limits it to 5, it sort of uh, it goes up to 5 and then clips at 5, uh, beyond 5 there is no increase possible, okay. So, now we want range and distribution of f of x. Now, geometric random variable starts at k equals 1, 2, 3, so on, it keeps on going, 3, 4, 5, it keeps on going. Here, this f of x will take 1 to 1, so if you think of k for geometric, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, so on, I am just adding all this, f of k is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then after that it is just 5, so on, okay. So, what is going to be the range of f of k, range of f of x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that is it, okay. It does not go beyond 5, okay, that is the nature of this function. Okay, so, you see how, what I did here, right, I took the range of x and simply applied f on each value and then saw what set I got and that becomes the range, okay, it is very easy, easy thing to find range. Now, for PMF, I simply have to find probability that f of x equals 1, f of x equals 2 and so on, right. So, that just comes from the PMF itself, is not it? Because here, one, if, if, if you look at, let us let's just evaluate it, probability that f of x equals 1 is the same as probability that x equals 1, is not it? And that is just half. This will go on till probability that f of x equals 4, because this is probability that x equals 4 and that is 1 by 2 power 4, okay. So, now for probability that f of x equals 5, right, this happens whenever x is greater than or equal to 5, is not it? This is the event, right. When f of x equals 5, x could be 5, 6, 7, anything is greater than or equal to 5. So, that would come out as maybe I will write it like this, 1 by 2 power 5 plus 1 by 2 power 6 plus so on. Now, you know the GP formula, let me write it more carefully, 2 power 5 and so on, okay. You can use the summation of the geometric uh, progression, so 1 by 2 power 5 by 1 minus 1 by 2, so you just get 1 by 2 power 4, okay. So, uh, if you want to write the PMF here, in this case it is 1 by 2, 1 by 4, 1 by 8, 1 by 16 and 5 also is 1 by 16, okay. So, of course, you do not have to go for uh, great length and compute the probability of f of x equal to 5, you can also do this as 1 minus probability that f of x belongs to 1, 2, 3, 4, that is also possible. This is also a very quick way of uh, doing it, you will see that will kind of end up being 1 by 16. I just did it in two different ways uh, to show you and you can check also that this has to work out correctly, okay. So, I showed you two examples where uh, there were two different uh, scenarios, two different random variables and we hit it with a function and we saw how to find the range of uh, that function of that random variable and how to find the PMF of that. So, it is quite a simple uh, thing to do. I will uh, show you one last slide where this idea is just written out uh, in more detail. You have a random variable x with uh, a random variable x with the PMF f x of t and f of x is a random variable, right. This is a function of x, uh, f, f of x of a, right, the PMF of f of x at a, right, probability that f of x equals a is basically probability that x belongs to the set of all t such that f of t equals a. So, this is like the inversion I am doing, f of x equals a, uh, this set is like the f inverse of a, right. What are all the values of t for which f of t becomes equal to a? Now, this is a probability I can evaluate using the PMF, sum over all t such that f of t equals a f x of t. So, whatever I did in those two examples, I have written out in detail for you, okay. So, you can find the PMF using the PMF of x, okay, PMF of f of x can be found using the PMF of x, okay. So, so this is one uh, sort of uh, useful idea, uh, functions of random variables uh, we will keep revisiting later also. But when you have one discrete random variable, finding the PMF of any function of that is a very easy process and uh, hopefully you are convinced of that, okay. That is the end of this lecture, uh, thank you very much.